Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I wanted to do some reviews and demos on some new Maybelline products. The first one I wanted to review is the Dream Cushion Foundation. I was super excited for this uh, cushion foundation to come out because since last year the L'Oreal Cushion Foundation came out and I loved that one so, so much. I loved it especially because it basically reminded me of the, well, the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Cushion Foundation. Basically same formula of the L'Oreal True Match Lumi one of my favorite foundations and they just put in cushion form and now Maybelline came out with their own so I was really curious to know I was like okay is this going to be mattifying is it also going to be more hydrating is it going to be satin what's going on here so they actually have about eight colors I don't know if they're going to bring out more on the ultra website say about eight different colors I have mine in the shade 20 classic ivory and check in the description box down below I'll list my other shades that I use in other foundations just for reference um so in case you are ordering this online can kind of gear like maybe what you should get because I was torn between 20 and 30 but the fact that 30 said like I think it was like a warm nude or warm something I was like oh probably not going to be that because I like, guess 20 going to be too light um but I think 20 is actually a really good shade color for me because it does oxidize a bit so as you're kind of might come off a little bit lighter but it does oxidize so it like matches me pretty well it's the same kind of I like that it comes you open it up and it has your little um, cushion little pad and then you open it up so you just kind of like dab it in there and dab it around your face a lot of people don't really like cushion foundations um, maybe this little guy but I actually really do like it usually I don't use the like utensil the product that comes in with any like makeup compact or anything but the cushion foundation is a cushion something really simple and I use it for what it is as like a cushion a lot of people like to maybe use their beauty blender or a brush which I'm just like, okay, might as well maybe use an actual foundation <laughs> instead of, you know, the cushion. Um, but hey, if that's your preference, go for it. But I want to use a cushion foundation for what it is. And for me, I really like cushion foundations um, because they're great for on the go. Because you just put everything in there and you just take this whole thing with you in your little makeup bag. And it's so easy to apply. You don't have to like pour or like, you know, have everything falling all over the place. So that's why I like cushions, you know, so if for a lot of times when I want to do my makeup on the way to work it's so easy less of a like not really much of a mess when you use this um, so I like that the finish of this is honestly I would say it's maybe like about like a satin it's a very natural foundation satin it's not too luminous um, it's not matte I was afraid it was going to be matte but it's not mattifying I feel like it's a really nice natural finish to the skin so it just makes your skin look like skin I feel like it does a really great job of evening out like any redness or just evening out your skin tone it is you know a little bit more like lighter a little bit more of a sh not super sheer it's like definitely a lighter formula so if you want just something to kind of even everything out I would definitely say one layer is good and then two layers I think you can get a really good light light medium coverage with it so I've been loving this every day for work because I've been on a hurry a lot because I don't want to get up early it's winter how do you like you know peel the sheets off of you so this has been my best friend for on the go I would say the longevity of this lasts me all throughout the workday. Um, you know, it is a lighter formula, so you will see, you know, parts of your skin maybe peeking through after a while, but that's after like eight plus hours. You know, I feel like it happens with like a lot of foundations. Um, I love the blendability. I think it blends out really easily, you know, with this little cushion thing. Maybe even if you prefer with the beauty blender, it is sheer. So it might make it even more sheer. Um, but if you want it like maybe a little bit extra coverage if you did are someone who enjoys to do it where the beauty blender or brush maybe go for a brush to build, build it up a little bit more because the beauty blender might take you a couple more layers but I think with the little pad cushion that it comes with I think that is perfect on its own. I know some people might ask me like okay well Maybelline has one, L'Oreal has one, which one do you prefer and honestly I feel like for everybody it's just going to come down to preference because these are two like very similar products and the thing that for me that it kind of makes the most difference it's what's your preference and that is whether you like more like of a natural satin type of finish or do you prefer a little bit of luminosity so for me I have dry skin so I do prefer a little bit more luminosity which is why I love fell in love with the L'Oreal one and I always kind of want to repurchase that 
Um, but honestly, I feel like I'll even love this. I like this in the winter time. I was afraid it's going to be maybe too drying for me in the winter time, but I love this in the winter time. And I feel like I'm going to love this even more in the spring and summertime. So I feel like it just depends. Like, do I want more of just like a natural satin or a, a luminous finish? So I feel like either one, just depending on your preference, is really going to determine what which one you're going to pick up because they are about the same price. I forgot to mention that. And not the best price. <laughs> they at Ulta you can get this for about sixteen dollars. I know, kind of expensive, but 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 I would say wait for a coupon. Ulta always have those like five dollars off of fifteen dollars or more. So I would say wait for a coupon so you can get it for about eleven dollars. They might have it cheaper at like Target or Walmart, so a couple of dollars cheaper. So I would check those out if you want to get it, like right away. But I think Maybelline did a great job. And actually, I was following Maybelline's Instagram, and they posted this, basically their cushion foundation, but it had a different cover. It looked like a nice rose gold and like Maybelline engraved on the top. And they're saying this was their cushion foundation in Asia, which is super dewy finish. I was like, can I get that? Like, are, can you bring that to the U.S., please? Um, and just have two options, you know, so people can definitely just choose their finish, because I think that would be great for Maybelline. You don't have to just choose Maybelline or L'Oreal. You can do Maybelline or Maybelline. So that would be great. If not, we'll just maybe Amazon shipping or something. Um, but I would definitely suggest pick up this foundation, cushion foundation. The next product I wanted to talk about was your new Dream Brightening Creamy Concealer. I picked up mine in the shade 30 light slash medium. And I kind of debated should I have gone like maybe a shade up. I am not the biggest fan of this concealer. A couple things I do like, but then on it for me, what I need, it doesn't really do what I need. Um, it is definitely really creamy. I did not expect for it to be as creamy as it is because it is, you know, one of those kind of like stick concealers. I thought it was gonna be a little bit dry, a little bit like not enough for underneath my eyes. Um, but this is really creamy, so I love the way that it glided on. It didn't tug at my under eyes. But it is more of a thicker kind of consistency, the stick concealer consistency. So I feel like it was a little, it's a little bit too thick for my under eyes. Um, so I mean, you either have to use very little, but with very little, there's really no coverage for me because I do have dark under eye circles. And if I go in with a corrector first and then this, then it's definitely way too thick for me. So if you're someone who doesn't have like, you know, under eye wrinkles and or dark circles, maybe you might like this. Other than the creaminess, the hydrating, the way hydrating underneath my eyes, I'm not a fan. This is really just like a pass for me. I thought, like, okay, maybe if I can use it for areas around my face. But like I said, it's very light coverage. Um, so it doesn't really cover what I need to cover. So for me, this is a pass. It's about $8 at Ulta. A little bit cheaper, Target or Walmart. So unless you don't have the issues that I have, <laughs> I would say maybe pick it up. But I feel like it doesn't, other than hydration, it doesn't do much. The last product I want to talk about was their new color correcting kit. They have three shades. I picked up mine. They have a light, and then I picked up medium, and then they have one for deep skin. The light had actually like the green corrector in there, um, which I was like, I was be torn between. Actually, I had only seen the medium and the dark one at my store, and then later saw so the light one. But I was like, you know what? I feel like the medium can still work, and for me, it works fine. Um, I'm curious about the light one just because it has that green one in there. Um, but I'm actually, I actually do, I did like this. I think the only one I'm like, eh, kind of about, I don't really need is this highlighting one. Um, a little bit more like mini little shimmers in there that I needed, but I was actually pretty impressed. So for the under eye corrector, like this peach corrector underneath my eyes, um, I think I did a great job and just go uh, on top of it, maybe with like a concealer, a lighter concealer. Because I don't think I would want to like layer two cream concealers on top of each other. But then even this shade I kind of use for like around my face to cover any blemishes. And I thought the coverage was really nice and it didn't dry too quick. It was really creamy for my um, dry skin. Whereas I know I tried the L'Oreal, their, um, their concealer like kind of kit that they had. I'll link the description down below for you guys if you want to check that out. I was not a fan though because I feel like um, it wasn't, the coverage wasn't as great and I feel like it dried really quick so you really had to work with it but this was so creamy and hydrating so maybe this is better for dry skin and maybe the other one's better for oily normal skin but I actually really did like this one so if you are looking for something to maybe correct um, I didn't really have to like dig at it and really try to like warm it up in the back of my hands like honestly just kind of like swirling your hand around it and then just adding it like just instant coverage underneath my eyes and out of my face like I actually think Maybelline did a really great job. This comes out to about $13 on the Ulta website, which isn't too bad because you do get a bunch of different colors to work with. I mean, cheaper would be better. 
Once again, target a Walmart, get a deal, get a coupon from Ulta, wait for those sales and you know, to save even more money because who doesn't love to save some money? I hope you guys enjoyed those reviews and demos of the new Maybelline products. If you picked up any of these products and they worked out for you or didn't work out for you, let me know. Um, some things that I suggest might not work out for you and some things that didn't work out for me might actually work out for you. So definitely have a bunch of different products coming up to review. I will be doing lip swatches. I'm wearing the new lip liner from Maybelline and a, I ordered all their new, what is it, the like, into matte lipsticks. So I'm excited to swatch those because there are definitely some colors. I really really like this is one of them check the description box down below for what I'm wearing I always try to post um, like foundation and then lipsticks because I know I'm usually kind of curious as well also check the description box for some reviews and demos of other new uh, drugstore products in case you're curious kind of you know keep it with you on your list so when you go to the drugstore you kind of know maybe get a better idea of what you know you might want to spend your money on thank you guys so much for watching and make sure to subscribe to keep up with some more videos and I'll see you guys next time